Get up, get on up. Get up, get on up. Like a sex machine, get on up. Hey guys, my name is Marcus. Welcome to my channel. This is Marjik79 here, where I come to you and give you some tidbits and some cool things about Star Wars from time to time. You know, out of all the things that I talk about on my YouTube channel, Star Wars most definitely is that one fandom that... I feel like if I'm not 1000% positive, if everything is just not perfect, I feel like there's always at least one Star Wars fan out of the woodwork and comes and tells me that I don't deserve to be on a living platform anymore. <laughs> it's never on YouTube specifically. It's usually almost always on Facebook, one of these Star Wars groups that have very passionate fans and i get it man that's cool we all have our things that we are super passionate about and we cannot stand when somebody likes to critique it even if it's in the most innocent way possible with that being said let me go ahead and state that overall i enjoyed the book of boba fett it was very far from being the perfect show i did, did not enjoy it more than the mandalorian honestly it was just okay it was just a meh, like, wasn't bad, it wasn't great, it wasn't terrible, it wasn't like, ah, oh, it's the greatest thing of all time. It's just, it was okay, I was entertained. It was just some specific parts of this final episode that had me like, hmm, I wouldn't have done that, but all right, that's cool. And let's take a second to just go through some of those things, all right? Cool. First thing, Grogu decides to take the chain mail armor provided by the Mandalorian and forgo his Jedi training. All right, cool. I think we kind of all suspected that that was the choice that he was going to make, especially if you look far into the fandom that Grogu was definitely not Luke Skywalker's first student. That title belongs to Ben Solo, who eventually becomes Kylo Ren. But the issue that I had with this whole scenario is he takes the X-Wing and goes to Tatooine with R2-D2 just by himself. I found that so weird. Like, Luke, uh, did you not think maybe you could at least just drop him off? Make sure that it was safe for where he was going at? I mean, I know you've been training him for a little bit of time here, and he's been able to master some more of his Force abilities, but I feel like it was just kind of reckless to let R2-D2 just kind of guide him to Tatooine and drop him off. I don't know, I found that so weird. The next thing that I just find more funny than anything else, not even really a nitpick, people were convinced that we were getting a cameo from an OG character, whether it be Korra from Rogue One, a lot of people were saying Han Solo, a lot of people were saying Mace Windu, and I'm over here like, I don't think anybody's going to show up. I think the show has already been so fluctuated with so many different Star Wars characters anyways, especially since we technically kind of gapped that throwback nostalgia episode with classic characters in episode 6 and five so that's why i just wasn't really expecting any more og characters to come back in episode seven this episode needed to be focused on boba and they actually did a good job of focusing these this episode on boba now with the nitpickiness we definitely have to throw in the praise where the praise is deserved this fight scene between the pikes and boba and mando them flying around in their jetpacks was definitely a highlight of the entire season for me this was something that i wanted from the very beginning it gave me some throwback nostalgia feelings from season two of mando when boba first made his appearance of return so definitely seeing them in action again together just taking out pikes one by one utilizing their best car armors to keep themselves safe they even getting pinned down a little bit during their struggle as well it was cool to see it was definitely one of the highlights like i said not just this episode but the entire season for me most definitely now i tend to not watch other youtubers breakdowns of the episodes before i put out my own video because i want my own opinion to be to be 100 my own personal opinion but admittedly i did watch star wars theories take on the episode before i started recording and he pointed out something specifically that i just had had to incorporate into my own video and that was the fact that boba did not use the slave one his ship when they were pinned down during the fight when the two big mechanical droids was just taking everybody out and they none of their weapons were working like why didn't he just use his most powerful arsenal his ship because he could literally just control 
it from the panel on his arm to call it forth. He could have called that to come and take them out. So I just was not really understanding that at all. There's a great point made by Star Wars Theory. So I'll credit him for that. Now, another part of the episode that I absolutely enjoyed was the escapades of Black Crescent and just his strength and just ability to take a fight into his own hands was just nothing short of mesmerizing to see on screen. The six or seven pikes that it took to jump on him and kind of take him down a little bit but not really take him down because he still fought through all of that and just the, the numerous amounts of blaster bolts that he can take before you know he starts limping and actually goes down to the ground was really cool to see his durability is quite outstanding to be honest i would love to see him in a fight with maybe even a jedi or someone of a high caliber of power to see how he would match up to some of star wars's most powerful characters now for the moment that we were all waiting for the ace in the hole when all hope seemed lost when the two mechanical drawers were just beating everybody down to a pulp boba caused the rancor to come and take out and save the day when it comes to seeing big monsters take out big robots hey this one's at the top of my list man it was very cool to see i really don't have any complaints with it it was uh, sweet now i'll tell you what when i started to did have an issue but I feel like it's probably more plot armor than anything else is when Cad Bane just walked right up to it and then just shot his fire into its mouth and then that made him freak out, drop Boba, and then just go on a rampage and start just destroying the city and not like actually go after the dude that shot the fire at you. Okay, that makes sense for the plot, I guess. So we have to have a final reasoning for the climatic, you know, final battle between the two bounty hunters to take place. So I guess there you go. And speaking of final bosses, final confrontations, final battles in Star Wars in general, the uh, shootout between Cad Bane and Boba, definitely not my favorite. It was kind of anticlimactic, for if I do say so myself. I mean, it was cool. I mean, the definitely the proof that Cad Bane is the fastest hand in the galaxy was proven here. He shot Boba first. Boba couldn't really respond with a blast of his own. He was already on the ground. Cad Bane kicked off his helmet. And he was going to take him out, but like the cliche bad guy he's got to talk shit before he delivers the final blow and as he's talking you know boba side swipe kicks him with the tuscan bow time that he got and ends up stabbing him in the chest and just like that years and years of cad bane come to an end i don't know i just found it really weird that they killed off cad bane like that i didn't like it I don't know. I just feel like I needed a way more dramatic ending for Cad Bane. I feel like he's way too freaking cool of a character to go out like that. Just my opinion. I'm sure some of y'all loved it. I just wasn't a fan of it. I mean, especially if the main reason you brought him in was just that you were going to kill him. If you knew in the long run that you were going to kill him, let him be in more than two episodes. You know, he should have been the ongoing bad guy throughout the entire season. Don't bring him in just for a cameo appearance in episode six and then kill him off in episode seven. I just feel like that was kind of a waste. I would have loved to have seen more interactions between the characters throughout the season. And during all that commotion with Cad Bane and Boba, we have the Rancor still rampaging through the city when Mando, after reuniting with Grogu, takes it upon himself to try to stop the Rancor. And the, basically, the Rancor almost eats Mando, but due to his best car armor, he is saved by that. And then Grogu, being Grogu, utilizes his Force stability. I believe the proper turn is beast control is a force power that can be used to tame a wild beast it's been seen in the video games and it's been seen in the movies as well i believe anakin used it in uh, episode two i want to say i don't remember for sure but quote me on that if i'm wrong but yeah he just you know, raised his little arm up and it calmed the beast down and then he went to go and take a nap with it like he was a daddy to a little big brown baby with sharp razor teeth and claws and it was a cute scene to see if i'm being completely honest but i don't know just something about the reunion of grogu and uh, mando just kind of rubbed me the wrong way too i don't know i just feel like it took away from the emotional impact of the season two finale of the mandalorian you know mando sent him to go and train with luke to become a jedi how long was he actually gone a month a couple of months maybe then he's already back with mando so it kind of it just takes away the impact of how 
big of an emotional conclusion it was for that ending to that season but i mean i'm glad that they're back together but it is going to be pretty funny for people that don't watch boba fett that just try to hop into mandalorian season three and they're going to be like what the hell how are they back together <laughs> you know and all the real star wars fans are going to be like well i don't know just you're just gonna have to figure it out <laughs> Now it's time for me to talk about my favorite aspect of this entire show, this entire season, and that would be the character of Finnick Shan. I feel like she was the glue that held this show together. I cannot praise her enough, just her motivations, her dialogue, her fight scenes, her choreography. She was the one that took it upon herself and lived up to her master assassin name. When all of the leaders of the Pikes were trying to plan their escape, and she showed up with her sword and her blaster and took all of them out in such a cool fashion. Yes, this character for me was what made the show a win in my opinion the Phoenix Shan character definitely is a win in Star Wars and for Disney Star Wars in general we need more of this character I would love to see an origin story or movie or show of this character specifically you know from her appearances in Boba Fett from Mandalorian to the Bad Batch there has not been an episode when Fennec Shan has made an appearance where I was like ah this sucks basically every episode that she has made an appearance in all three of these shows like dude this is freaking good <laughs> <laughs> we have got to get more of this character, man, which I already know because I've always been a fan of hers anyways, from Bulan to you know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and now Boba Fett. So it's good, man. So we definitely, if I had one high praise to give, it would definitely be to the character Phoenix Shand. And with that, man, I think it's time that we close the book on the book of Boba Fett and start looking towards the future of uh, Star Wars shows, man. We have Mando Season 3. We have the Obi-Wan series. We have the Ahsoka series. We have Endor. A lot of stuff to look forward to, man. So I definitely am still very happy to see where the shows are going to take us, man. I'm so excited. Like, like I said, the book of Boba Fett was not my favorite, but it definitely was not bad by any stretch of the imagination. If I had one more thing to say about the book of boba fett that would be the end credit scene cop vamp survived sweet dude i don't really care all that much it looks like they're going to bring him back as a cyborg but sweet <laughs> all right man that's gonna do it so what i want to know now i want to know your opinion on it did you like this show did you love it did you hate it was it good was it bad i want to know post it in the comments below let's have a good well healthy youtube discussion about star wars i really don't ever have to worry about you guys here because i know the peeps that actually go through and watch the full video y'all are healthy individuals that actually like having iq high level conversations about stuff it's those peeps on facebook that just see my tag picture and freak out like oh this guy stupid is doing is talking about die 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 <laughs> that's not any of you guys but you know they those fans do exist unfortunately so y'all know the drill if you like the video do me a favor hit that like button if you want to see more content just like this hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell icon so that you know whenever i upload a new video you can follow me at youtube.com slash 79 i'm also on facebook instagram and tiktok and as always my friends may the force be with you and i'll see y'all on the next one i'll catch you guys later bye